Hey everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University and we are here at SIGGRAPH 2022 in the Vicon booth talking with Mark Finch about, I don't even know what we're talking about. What is this thing? Uh, so this is um, a crown. It's yep. called in the industry, right? So it sits uh, on top of your hero camera, right? And you have multiple LEDs that your volume tracks. So this is essentially the camera tracking uh, mechanism for virtual production. Right, so this is brand new, like didn't exist anywhere publicly until like the first day of this. Um, I think maybe there was a sneak peek at GDC, but this is like the first real rollout. Still hasn't even been named, it's still that new. What is so special about it? I mean, you know, I've seen plenty of crowns, Sputniks, yep. constellations on cameras before. Um, some of them are LEDs, some of them are, are active LEDs like this. But you know what makes this special? So, so this is this is cool because it's got a, a bunch of uh, new bits and pieces that we've integrated into the single crown. So we have our new supernovas, which are these LEDs that sit on top. They're active LEDs, uh, and they're a higher power than our normal, uh, our historic uh, novas that we sell. Right. So we can see this up to 50 meters, 50 meters plus. I think what's I don't know the feet comparison to that because I'm. A metric person, but uh, <laughs> it's 150 feet. 150 feet, Ish. right? Um, and actually, we were able to 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 track this with a single camera all the way back to the doors yesterday. So, um, these so wait a minute. One camera can track three-dimensional position of this, or it, do you it, need? It, ma it maintained the object all the way. Oh, it maintained the object in yep. view. So yep. you would still need multiple yep. sensor cameras in the to be able yep. to see it to yep. triangulate. Yeah, yeah. But um, so so these have these are basically adjustable so you can pull these off right and you can mount them however you like so we have seven different configurations so that gives you up to seven different objects that you can track with this right so seven hero cameras if that's what you're after right? so so it's not even something where I need to pre-order the configuration of this these essentially are like Lego pieces that can snap into yeah. the right places yeah. and, and so I can reconfigure this yeah. as a different object yeah and so that also, I suppose, means that if I had different cameras in my setup and I was shooting more of a, a cinematic scenario where I'm doing different camera setups for different scenes, I could actually move this, reconfigure it, and yeah. use that as... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's also cool is that these new sort of optics that we've put on these, you have 270 degree uh, sort of field of view. So basically, the, the camera will see it until it's completely blocked. Mm -hmm. So it'll be able to track that uh, LED marker until it, it really can't see it anymore, um, which is cool. And so is there functionality that's built into Shogun specifically to identify this? Is there synchronization? It just sits as a rigid object. Okay. Right? So Shogun identifies this as a rigid object, mm -hmm. and, then, and then it basically pipes through the same, the same channels that you normally would. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. I see, it looks like uh, maybe a USB power supply cable running into that. Is that required? Is there a battery in there at all? Yeah, so at the moment it's powered through just a, a, a battery pack. So you can uh, either attach a battery to the bottom of it, which mm -hmm. will ultimately be, be available, or you can have your own battery pack. It's just a USB um, 5 volt that, that powers sure. these. Uh, and then there's actually another cable that comes out, which is the next part of the, the little goodie that we have in there. There's, a, there's actually a Blue Trident IMU embedded in these uh, crowns now as well. So the IMU gives you the rotational stability. Uh, so that's fused with the optical measures, right? And and uh, it, it, it uh, fuses in, well, it comes through our data stream, the SDK that, that comes out of Shogun, and it fuses the IMU data within that. So you have essentially a uh, uh, jitter reduction, and then if you can't see the objects, right, you still get the orientation of the camera. So the fusion of the IMU data and the optical data, that's happening within Shogun? Yes. And how is the IMU data getting to Shogun? So at the moment, it's a, it's a cable, just because of Is that like an Ethernet networking or just USB? USB. USB. OK, so yeah. it's a serial communication. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, no big deal because usually these cameras are tethered with a yeah. gazillion other yeah, cables yeah. and and the, the lens encoders and all of that sort of thing as yeah, well. So yeah. so it kind of just fits into the into the back of the yeah. hero camera anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then um, you know another thing that you had released this week and we'll, we'll get into in a different episode about the the Valkyrie cameras. Um, and I noticed that the Valkyrie cameras you're touting to be outdoor capable. Yeah, yeah. And so is this outdoor capable as well? Uh, these. Let's just say at night. 
I mean, you, if it's if it's not raining. Okay. So these so these don't have the same. Uh, you IP know, water IP, IP rewriting as, 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 as the Valkyries, so that yeah. we, we yeah. still need to keep these dry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. So no swimming. No swimming. No swimming. And <laughs> and there's still no name for this, so this is the, the device that shall eventually be named. Yeah, it's a crown. Okay. It's a crown. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, Mark, thank you so much. Everybody, thanks for checking this out. Um, we'll see some other cool things at SIGGRAPH. And, uh, oh, by the way, thank you to Alicia for holding the camera for us. And uh, until next time, have fun. Thank you.